Hi, welcome to Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this APDS9960 gesture sensor RGB and ambient sensor module that is offered by uh, Adafruit. So this module, if I move my hand to the right, it detects and you see it writes uh, uh, that the gesture was to the right. And if I go to the left, it shows left. If I go up, it shows up and if I put my hand down and also it can be tweaked to do other uh, features started. You can get the code for this project including the library by clicking at the link in the description below which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. I will be providing the actual Adafruit library. So this is a basic video on how to detect the gesture and then based on the gesture you can do something. So this is a basic video uh, to just display the value on the screen and then you can use it for whatever purpose you want to control motor, servo, light or something based on a gesture. But I will have more related videos coming so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Examples that you will see in this uh, video will be the ambient light entrapped, uh, color sensor, gesture sensor and also we will see the proximity sensor application of this module. So this is the APDS9960 5 pin version as you can see here it doesn't have the other UL pin it's very tiny and this is the same chip APDS9960 with a larger uh, PCB and also it has one extra pin uh, for PL PL pin which you, when you saw that it here you do not use it let me show you on the other side perhaps you will receive the module something like this that the header is not soldered yes 9960 is this and here are the pins labeled so the label is also on this side so depending on how you want to use it or what type of application you have so you can solder this on this side so this is accessible by the gesture or maybe you can solder it this way so whichever way you prefer, just uh, solder this. Make sure that you solder this so you don't have to connect extra wire at this last one. But if you do not solder it, then you can connect this wire to 3.3 volts. I have soldered this point and I will not connect a 3.3 volts to this UL uh, pen. This is made by Avago Technology, so this is not uh, Adafruit uh, chip. And here are some description, but uh, generally we can say this can be used for gesture detection, color sensing, ambient light sensing, cell phone touch screen disable, and some other features. So the, one of the features that this is used is that when you get phone close to your ear, it turns off the uh, speaker and switches to the earphone. So that one immediately I remember that I've seen it. This is the block diagram of it and as you can see here it has sensors within this small tiny chip it has uh, for up down left and right it has a light sensor and also for clear red green and blue also it has a device uses i to see communication that's why we have sda and scl pins are used so the module width is 15.2 millimeter The length is 20.5 millimeter and the depth is determined by this big capacitor 3.9 millimeter or 4 millimeters. Module weighs 1.5 gram. So let me explain the wiring here. This is going to the ground, it has been labeled as ground and the second pin is connected to the VCC which is 3.3 volts so blue and red I've connected them here 3.3 and ground and then here we have uh, SDA and SCL SDA is the data and SCL is the clock so these two pins are connected uh, respectively to the pin 4 and pin 5 so um, 
my Arduino also has here SDA and SCL, which I can connect it there. You're using Arduino Uno and then, then SCL is A5 and SDA is A4. And Arduino Mega, SDA is 20 and then SCL is 21 and Leonardo and all of those. And then the intra pin will be connected to pin 2 that is connected here. So you need this library, the link will be provided beside this. So once you click on the link, you will land in this page and then just click here and then download zip and then save it wherever you prefer to save. I'm just saving it in this folder. I have something it says already exists, so just I'm saving it for you to see. Uh, because I'm using Chrome, just click show folder and you will see it here right click 7-zip and extract here if you don't have 7-zip get it from 7-zip.org it's free so once you select it extract here see this add a fruit 9960 folder here so these are all the files i'm just showing you so then right click copy it go to the folder where you have your arduino Arduino usually in some machines will be at C, program files, and Arduino will be here. In my case, that's the Arduino, so I'm just clicking. So these are the folders that you will see in, in the Arduino and library is here. Double click, right click here, and then paste it. Once you paste, you will see this folder here, and that will be ready. Then make sure to close your Arduino IDE fully, and then reopen it again. To file, examples, or spark fun apd 9960 rgb and gesture sensor and then uh, select gesture test now let me explain the code so the pens have been described here again this wire is for rtc communication it's part of our unit you don't need to do anything this dot h file which includes is from the library so it, if you get error then you don't have included this make sure that you follow the steps that i shown and then pin 2 is for the interrupt so you just put pin 2 which is connected to the int pin and these are some other values so we are creating an instance of an object for this so we call it apds and then ISR flag don't worry about that so this is important one that we are creating and then st st start from here up to here so the first thing is that we set the pin mode entrapped APDS entrapped so that means pin 2 as an input and then these are just a text that displays on the screen and here is the entrap routine and then falling so what it does is it looks at the signal when the signal falls so, so this is a portion of the signal that goes up and then down and continues like that and as, as, as the signal goes from zero this is zero and this is five or this is low and this is high as the signal goes up this is called the rising edge and as the signal from high goes to low that's called the falling edge this is referring to falling so entrapped only when the signal falls and then this one initializes it makes sure that apds.init this is the method or a function for this object that we created here so if this returns true or is working then it prints this serial print so this is the initialization complete is this text that you see it here otherwise you'll get an error and then also gesture sensor is running now that's the text that enable gesture sensor is equal true returns true otherwise you will get an error so when you run it make sure that you get an initialization complete and also gesture sensor is now running otherwise this will not work so this loop you don't have to do anything it just runs and all attaching and trapped and detaching are part of this application that runs but the important part for you would be uh, at this gesture sensor so here 
it gets this value with a switch and then the switch checks all the cases direction up direction down and if it's up it will print the text up and then same thing down left right far near and if it doesn't know where it is it just prints none I've uploaded the gesture sketch and this is the result and as you can see here if I go to the left it shows left go to the right it goes right it shows right so if I go down uh, if I go up all of these values are shown there are two things that we have uh, we have uh, far and near to get the far put this a little above and then uh, go and wait for a second and go up so you can see now it says far some object gets uh, far but you need a little, at least a second so the device can adjust itself for the near what you do is you put far away get closer and then get to the left or right just exit sometimes it doesn't know it says none but generally this is very accurate so now let's uh, test the color. So I'm going to the example and then a spark fan. And here it says uh, ambient and trapped light. Sketch is uploaded. As you can see here, it says entrapped ambient. These are the value. And then it says R that refers to red and then green and then blue. So these are the values. And the value will, will change if I put some objects. For example, now, uh, if I put this if I put this blue color first let's cover it fully as you can see we are reading around zero so zero 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 ambient and everything because it's total dark but if I move it a little you will see that we are getting some value so let me put it like that and now because the value is not changing it just says R is this value, G is this value, B is this value. Now, because the in intensity of light changes, if I move this, the value will change. So now this is, these are the value that it shows. Move this a little further, you see the value has changed. The color has not changed, but this is changing because the shade of light and intensity changes, so it detects different value. Now, let me put this yellowish color. There is a darker color on this side, so you will it will read the different value. Now let's open this. Go to File, Example, and Spark Fun from here. Now let's get this. Uh, uh, proximity sensor so the proximity sensor gets the mm, some value for a position of an object for example if I put my hand it shows that value and if I mm, get it closer the value increases and after 255 as you can see at this distance it does not change but let me put it further away and the value decreases and if I go further so now I'm around 15 centimeter it reads 150 it reads around 56 so let me go further okay now I'm holding it at this point and you can see we are reading 30 so we are reading 20 25 now let's turn this to this. Now let's use this shiny surface. It shows 123 or 120. If I put this white surface, it shows 117. Let me show this black shiny. It shows 47. But it's consistent with that shininess it just works so that was an example so you can uh, understand that using this proximity sensor if you are using it in the same uh, environment consistently you can get a consistent 
resort which can be used in a uh, actual application thank you for watching so this was this red six pen adafruit uh, APDS 9960 uh, uh, gesture sensor please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos and if you have question or comment please post it at the uh, comment section I'll try to reply or answer